Okay, so let's say you've signed up for short triggers. All you need to do now is to sign in. So over here, I'm on my main page. I'm gonna click on log with Google. So all I have to do now is to uh, choose my account and this will automatically log me in. Okay, so this is your main dashboard. So pretty much you can see whatever is happening on your main dashboard right here. Next, let's take a look at this area here because here is where you can get to choose your account that you want to use for your automation so as you can see here i have the business plan i also have the pro plan and i also have the free plan so you can select here and choose which one you want to work with and this is also where you can add your organization by clicking here on create organization Next, let's take a look at our workflows. Now, this is very important because this is where you get to see all your workflows. Now, workflows can also be um, your automations. So it's just a different wording, but automations is pretty much your workflows. So over here, you can see we have a list and this is where all of them will show. Now, if you have more than these, you can always come over here and uh, expand this to go to the next pages. Now, on this column here we notice that we have our status so we only have one that's active here now what i like about this is you can go in and deactivate it if you don't need it or you can just activate it here now this saves you going in and deleting uh, pretty much every setting that you have done so i'll give you a quick example let's say this is a promotion that is happening let's say around easter time and maybe easter time is over you can just go ahead and disable it and then enable it next year when easter time comes around again now on this interface here, we can also go in and delete. So you can see here under actions, we could actually go in and delete some of these. For example, let's say I wanna get rid of this. All you have to do is to come over here and just type the word delete, and then that goes away. Now this is pretty cool because this is done on a central page. Right, so let's say you want to search and you've got quite a lot of these um, workflows you can come over here and search them and this will also give you the results and then over here if you have any folders this is how you can locate all your folders all right now the most important thing is let's say you get stuck and you need some support on the bottom right here is where you'd click on this bubble here and this is where you can start getting your assistance all right so now with that let's move on to the next part which is the folders in fact let me get rid of this it's in our way so you can create you know, different types of folders and then assign all your automations to that folder. So that way everything is now sorted in folders. It makes things very, very easy. So at the moment you can see here, I have zero workflows, but if you want to create a folder, you can just come over here and name it. So let's say this one here is marketing. You can just label it like that and then create a folder. Now we have two of our folders. So anytime you wanna go in and rename the folder you can just click on that pencil icon and rename it okay so now that we have this the next part now is to take a look at our history here so the history pretty much shows you what you've been doing what you've been creating and then you can specifically choose that date or that instance to then restore everything now here's my favorite part this these are the apps so here is where you get to create your connection so as you can see here I have this one here and I also have my connection here with WordPress, okay? So this is where you would add all your connections on this apps tab. Now on the bottom here, we have our recipes. Now our recipes are pre-made automations or pre-made workflows. So this is also a very good starting point if you are starting from scratch. So as you can see here, there's quite a lot, but the cool thing is you can actually search. So let's see if they have anything to do with Divi. And sure enough, look at this. We have create a coupon on form submission. So maybe this could be something that you uh, may want to do here. And this page can be used for inspiration. So it is very, very cool that you can come over here. Now I hadn't thought about this, but I can actually do this and add, add this to my website. And over here, find user orders on form submission. That's also pretty cool. And uh, there's quite a lot here you can do. So all you need to do now, let's say you decide to choose the one you want. You can just, um, let's say for example, go to this one here. Okay, let's click on start building. Let's say you want to connect this. You, obviously you have to have Divi running on your system and then you wanna click over here and then you want to connect the form itself like that. And then you want to select your connection. So let's say this is on diviuniversity.com. I'll choose that and then click on continue. 
I don't have a Divi form, so this will not show uh, anything here. But if there was uh, all my information here, all I have to do is to click on uh, next and then click on save. And then all I need to do now, you can see here, fetch data is required. So that means this won't work. So I need to fetch the data first. Now, while you're on this page here, on this automation, you can actually add more automations by clicking on this plus button. So let's say you want to add something else. You can add a delay here, for example, and you could say, let's delay until, and then you can choose your value here. So if I go and click on add, this will show me now uh, more information about that trigger and I could select it here. Now, as you can see here, it's saying to me, first, we need to complete this step. So I need to make sure that everything here is connected before I can add my delay. And I think this is a smart way because imagine adding a delay on a workflow that is not even working. So this is how you would add your step. Now, as I mentioned, there's quite a few here. You also have a filter, we have a path, we have a loop, and now we have a whole list of things that we can add. So let's say you want to uh, add shortcut. In fact, it is right here. I would select it, select an event. So I could say, uh, create customer, update customer, and so on. All right, so that is how quickly you can go in and set up uh, things on your automation. So let's say you want to uh, create uh, something. Now we're going to start from scratch now. But the, what I highly recommend is you want to make sure that you have your recipe in your head or you've written it down somewhere before you can actually go in and start setting it all up. So for example, let's say you wanted to connect your uh, website with short triggers what you want to do now is to go to your actual website so i just created a website quickly here so what you need is a plugin called short triggers and sure enough they have a plugin so you click on add new and search for short triggers so here it is i'm going to click on install now now connecting is very very easy as you shall see now i'm, I'm going to click on activate so now we get this setup wizard. So all I have to do is either watch this video, but I can just go and click on get started now. So what I'm doing now is to connect my website with the server for short triggers. In a moment, we're going to be connected and sure enough, we are now connected. So it was that easy. So let's just get rid of this pop up here. So you'll notice that this dashboard here is similar to the dashboard that we have on the actual server over here. So if I click here, you'll notice that pretty much is the same. And if I go to my workflows, you're going to notice that we have a list here. And now back on my website, if I go to my workflows, you're also going to notice that we have the same list. So I can work on either dashboards. It doesn't really have to be a specific one. And one thing that you also need to know here is short triggers is running all these automations off of their server. So this is taking off the heavy lifting from the actual website, making everything really, really smooth. All right, so now that we have this uh, connected, I can now go in and set up something here. Like for example, I'm gonna create from scratch and I'm gonna call this um, Funnelmatic because that's the product I created. Uh, Funnelmatic, like that. So now I can choose my folder. So let's say I want to go into the marketing folder. I can go into the marketing or I can go into the sales. All right, so let's go ahead and click, click on create. So now that I've created this, I can now add my trigger. So this is very important because this is how this whole automation starts. So I'm going to go to shortcut because I have my event in here. So I'm going to say order paid. So this is my website, Short Triggers Mastery. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, if I come back over here, you'll notice that this is Short Triggers Mastery. That's the name of my WordPress website. Now you want to make sure that you select it over here. Otherwise things won't work. All right. So now that I've got that, I'm going to click on fetch data. So you can see here, this is all the data from that plugin. Okay. So now I'm going to click on save pretty much. We're good to go. So now my workflow is going to be kickstarted by an order being paid. So this is where I can decide now what I need to do after the order has been paid. So I can come over here, click on this plus button. 
And perhaps if I have, let's say, show members, I can come over here and add that person that I've just paid onto my membership level. Look at that. This is pretty cool. So there's several options here that I can choose. So I just want to create, let's, let's go to WordPress. Let's see what WordPress has. Okay. So my event here is create or update a user. Okay. So over here, I'm going to choose my uh, website. Click on continue. So now I have to choose what comes here, which is the name. So first name, email. So I'm just mapping now. So here is my email. Okay. First name. And you can also add exclude roles over here. Okay, so if you click on continue, we can test the action to see if this is going to work. Now, if everything is fine, you're going to notice that it says this is fine. And then I can go ahead and click on save. Now, remember, when we started working on this, it wasn't working because I didn't have all the data. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to do this, let's head over now and see how we can automate this using AI. So to create our workflow with AI, what I need to do is to come over here and then I'm going to choose create with AI. Now notice that it's still in beta, but it still does work. So here is my uh, automation. So it starts off by when a customer buys a product on Shortcut, add them to show members VIP level and then add the customer to Google Sheets. So let's see if this workflow is going to be created using AI. So I'm going to click here and you can see here it's generating all the triggers which is pretty cool. So now it has uh, added all my uh, steps. So it's saying, was it useful? I'm going to say yes, because pretty much I can see everything has been added here. Let's give this a thumbs up. And then I'm going to say try workflow. So as you can see here, when user purchases, they get added to show members and then they get added to Google Sheets. So once this has been laid out, all you have to do now is to go in and customize this. Now, remember, through the process that I did uh, before. You can go in now and say when order is created or an order is paid or an order is failed. And that's what's going to kickstart this automation. So this is very, very important that um, you go in and add all your information in here. But of course, you want to make sure that all your um, levels, your membership levels are all created and ahead of time. And also with Google Sheets, you also need to have that Google Sheet ready for you because when you go into the workflows, you're just going in and connecting everything just so that, you know, when the trigger happens, everything now starts working in a uniform manner. Now, just looking at this, this is so powerful yet so easy to use. So the interface here, as you can see, it is very, very basic. I mean, there's nothing more to this, but the power is all in here. And this is really, really amazing. I mean, it's, it's, it's just amazing how you can go in and uh, set up pretty much everything in short triggers. Now, over here is where you can go and take a look at your limit because your tasks here are going to be dependent on the uh, plan that you've chosen. So as you can see here, uh, you can manage your plan by coming over here. So we have a monthly and also a lifetime. So if you head over to lifetime, you just pay $6.99 and pretty much that's it. So this one here is really powerful. So unlimited WordPress websites, unlimited workflows and so on. So if you are a design agency and you design websites for uh, small businesses or large businesses and you want to connect all their systems together, this is the way you can do this because as you can see, you can pretty much connect almost anything. So it is a very, very powerful system. So here we also have the option for a ma uh, for annual, which is $9 per month, billed annually, or you can just go for monthly, which is $12 per month. So over here, in fact, let's just close out of here. Now there's also other options. You can also take a look and see how you are performing. So as you can see, I have two uh, workflows here and my team members is just one out of 10. And like I said, you can manage your plan over here. So in a nutshell, this is how short triggers work. It is very, very easy to use. So go ahead, uh, get started and start automating your workflows. This will save you a lot of time and also add functionality to websites that were previously static, but now are pretty much alive. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. The link to purchase short triggers is in the video description below. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.